Hi everybody, it's Kedra with Nyx Moon Oracle, and I wanted to come on and bring you a Twin Flame reading, and this one is specifically for uh, Twin Flames and Separation. I wanted to see the past, present, and current energies for this connection that's in separation. And please know that you are never in actual separation with your twin. You may be in two bodies, but you have a soul that inhabits both with the positive and negative polarities. Just like a battery. Not one of them's good or bad or better than the other. It is just energy. I have already shuffled and saged and blessed and did knock energy on the decks. If I'm called to shuffle during the reading, I will. Spirit, I ask that you bless this area. Bless the watcher. Bless the reader. Remove all negativity. Bless these messages. Let them come forth true and accurate for the highest good of all, using me as a vessel and as the speaker of your messages for the highest good of the watcher, for the highest good of the divine counterpart. Thank you, Spirit. So what we're going to focus on right now in this reading is past, present, and future energies. And then um, I'll get some messages from your divine counterpart, as well as advice from spirit. We're going to look at um, obstacles in the connection and see what else comes through. So I think I'm going to start off with some Oracle Tarot. Spirit, please give me the past, present, and ener uh, future energies for this connection, this twin flame connection that is in separation physically currently. So ask for elaboration for each one. And all of these decks I will list below. This is the Good Tarot by Lucy, I'm sorry, by um, Colette Baron reed um, Spirit, I need clarification or elaboration for past present and future energies. In the bottom of the deck for the future. Okay. And I think that's what I'll, I'll start with. Okay. So we'll focus on the present energy, uh, the not present energy, sorry, the past energy. Let me take a look and absorb the energies and get the messages. Thank you, Spirit. I'm getting this. This is not past, past, like far past, like you're beginnings. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you guys can see these cards. Hang on. Okay everybody, I have, I think I have the problem solved. I just wanted to make sure that you guys could see these cards with me. That way you can also look at the imagery and the words and see what messages you get and apply to your situation as well as what um, 
I'm seeing and what spirit's having come through. And I want you, you know, this is your journey, it's your process, and I really want you to have the most of it. So I'm pretty sure you can see these okay right now. So the two of fire, the two of wands, I feel like this is recent past, like it could be yesterday, it could be the beginning of the year, um, it could be around Christmas time. I feel like because it's the new year, everybody has resolutions and wants to achieve goals and things like that for the new for the new year. You know, we let go of 2020, it's time to move forward and make your dreams come true. But also with that, you're also afraid of, you know, not afraid, but anxious about, you know, what if I don't succeed? What if it doesn't go the way I want? What if whatever happens in the world, you know, there's a lot of what ifs, a lot of anxiety about movement forward and achieving your dreams or losing losing like say you've already achieved some goals already this year and you are afraid of losing them and going back to before like say you've lost some weight or something or you've really progressed in your spiritual journey and you're just kind of afraid that if you maybe interact with somebody or something goes haywire or you just don't want to go back and lose your progress that you've already made. That's what I'm getting most of all. You're, you're ready for progress. You're excited about it, wanting those dreams to come true, achieve your goals, but you also don't want to fall back. There's a little bit of anxiety about falling back. And at what, in regards to the twin flame, I'm, I'm seeing that you're both feeling like that, but I feel like one of you is stronger and I believe it's you. I feel like this is you and you are carrying the light. You're the one that's carrying the light and with a twin flame journey, of course you are the one that is the keeper of the flame. Because your divine partner is unaware, un unaware of the situation. They don't know that you're twins, and if they were to find out, they would not care. They wouldn't believe it. They wouldn't really, you know, it, it's almost like a little person patting you on the head, oh, yes, yes, honey, or even eye rolling and looking like you had something coming out of your mouth. But that divine partner is not aware as you are. You are the keeper of the flame. So your progress forward will help them. You have to be the one to carry the flame and move forward. And with this card I'm getting, I love that they just go hand in hand, you have to take a brave flight, a, br a brave leap forward. Uh, don't let fear stop you this time. Don't let fear and anxiety of losing or having a setback or even shifts and change within um, your experience stop you. In regards to the twin flame journey, I feel like you have to be brave going forward and, and really know that this person is not as aware as you are. They do not experience the same things you do. They do not have the insight that you do. I'm not saying they don't because I feel like they do. For me, I feel like they do. Some other readers and coaches will tell you no, but I really feel that what's going on with you to a degree your divine partner does feel. I think it's uh, subconsciously, and they may not know why, but your progress forward helps them to get where they need to go. 
but it's definitely progress forward. And I feel like that no matter what, you have to make that brave flight we, and stop waiting for the right time to um, better yourself. Stop, stop waiting for that right time, right situation. Um, getting, you know, interference from other people. Listen to your own light. Feel your own light. Listen to the... I'm getting listening. Listen to the... I can't even say it, but I'm hearing it. Listen to the own beat of your drum, the rhythm of your own drum. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Whatever your goals are, don't let the fear of this connection, of not having this person in your life, what if there was somebody else, what if they've blocked me, what if they're not speaking to me, what if I'll never be with them again. You can't worry about that. This is your journey. You're the keeper of the flame. You have progress forward you have to make. Don't procrastinate. Your spiritual journey starts within. You are a soul. You two are one. And your progress forward affects them. It opens up a vacuum. If you're chasing and, you know, scared to let go, you can't imagine your life without them, take that brave flight. Move forward. Be the keeper of the light. Do your spiritual work. And your spiritual work is being in the now. You don't have to do... The beautiful part about all this is you don't have to do a thing. You just have to be brave and let go. Be brave. Let go. Let your soul and spirit guide you. Trust. It takes a lot of courage to go up in the sky and take flight. It takes a lot of courage. I'm terrified of flying. But when I'm up there, I'm okay. And you're going to be okay. This journey is not for the easy. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. So don't procrastinate. Let that person go. Be the keeper of the flame. Know that your spiritual journey and movement forward and letting go and taking this big brave flight is only going to help this person. Your person. And it's definitely going to help you. It's going to make the pain go away. So I'm going to put this to the side because we will come back to it. And we're going to go into present energy. Water is the Page of Cups. And I feel like this message is saying in the present moment because you have or will, because energy is first, energy is fluid, this present energy may not happen yet. It may not be going on right now, or it may. This recent past may be what's going on, and you need to take that brave flight and let go and be on your spiritual journey. That you are a soul, and you're already in union with this person. You have to let go of the physical person and, and be brave. And what I'm seeing is once you do that, if you haven't already, you will. If you, But there's free will if you choose. Energy is energy. Energy happens first and then it manifests into the uh, 3D world. So I'm getting is if, if 
if you choose or if you have chosen to let that person go and go on your spiritual journey it opens up for a lot of for both of you this is both of you remember present energy both of you that if you Embrace your spiritual journey. Let that person go. Focus on you living your best life. Achieving your goals that you're having movement forward on. Being excited about your life. Your highest good. It opens up this fantastical, you know, childlike innocence between you guys. It opens up fresh energy. Playfulness. You both are optimistic. You're both... It's like this magic, this refreshing, blooming energy. And you may not see it in the physical world, but this is what's going on within. This is your soul. This is you. It's their life experience right now and your life experience right now. Just this playful, creative, fluid energy that's that's there. Once you let go, it just lets go of, of, of so much of that anxiety and, and pain and gets you more free and refreshed and gives a chance, give, gives these two flowers a chance to grow. And if you just let everything be fluid and creative and playful. Magical. The time has come. The time is to act now. This is a, um, I believe this is an Aztec. I'm pretty sure this is an Aztec. Um, God. And this is the priestess of time. The time has come. The time is to act now. 23. 23 is 5. And that is change. I think that... Um, This almost goes to the brave pose, brave flight as well. Act now. Act now. And sometimes you're going to have things going on in the world. going to have setbacks even with this fluid energy I'm okay I'm getting this actually there's things that are going to happen with this brave flight this spiritual journey that are probably going to hurt you confuse you and just when you think you have reached a milestone in your spiritual journey and you feel like you are, you know, moving forward and letting them go and getting over them, you will get into the bump in the road. You might run into them. You might see them out. You might come into information that um, they're seeing somebody else or they're engaged or, or they got married. And that information may cause you to feel like, wow, I'm not as far along as I thought I've, I've gone, or I'm right back to where I was and I'm getting, you're not. Stay on that brave flight. Act now. You know, embrace what's going on and don't be hard on yourself. You still have, you're the keeper of the flame. You're the keeper of the flame. 
you are the leader in this twin flame dynamic. You have to be the keeper of the flame. And you have to, you know, once you get off, like say you have a bump in the road. I've had many bumps in the road on my twin flame journey. And used to, it was hard for me to get back on it. You know, I'd be, I'd think, wow, I just haven't, I'm not as far as I thought I was. I cried and I'm doing that thinking thing again and the pain's there. It becomes these mini dark nights of the soul if you just take action. Get back on it. Get back on, be the keeper of the flame. Get back on that journey. Get back to living your best life. Don't throw it all away. Take action now. Don't wait for the right time. Immediately say to yourself, if you're having these thoughts and feelings, this line of thinking, the way that I'm thinking right now, does not serve my highest good. And stop and be present in the moment. Take it now. Don't wait till, oh, you know, I'll start this tomorrow. There's no time like the present. This message is saying there's no time like the present to make a change in the way you're feeling right now. Choose to stop that thinking. Choose to be in happiness. Be the keeper of the flame. This journey is about you. This is about you, your body in this physical world, your soul. Your soul is split into two. The physical person that you're in love with, that's in the physical world. What's important on this spiritual journey is aligning with you. Aligning with you and act now. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. You know, embrace what happened that triggered you. Embrace the trigger moment that happened. And, and make it your creed that when you do get those bumps in the road, that person may reach out to you even. And you start feeling all that stuff and maybe you text them back excitedly and they go dark again. It's that energy that you have towards them that makes them run because they're the runners. Take a breath. Let them go until they come at you the right way. And you'll know the right way because you will have aligned yourself and you won't feel all that built-up shared energy that you have. That built-up shared energy that you have is what's keeping you apart. So, take that brave flight, be the keeper of the flame, and move forward. Know that you are always one together, and that your movement forward helps them, and creates a vacuum where they can come into your life. But if you are stuck and procrastinating this journey, and procrastinating doing your, your soul work, you will not get to this place. But I'm seeing that if you do, if you take action now and make, make your creed, your mantra, when you get those bumps in the road or you see them or something is in your face about them and just breaks your heart, know that that's your ego. That physical person is not important. that you are already one, but know that, but your creed and your motto needs to be, if those thoughts, feelings creep in, this line of thinking, the way that I'm thinking right now, does not serve me, my soul, or the highest good. And if you do that, you both will become fluid childlike, this beautiful innocence that can bloom again, this fluid energy, fluid water, this fresh energy can come forth.
so stop procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. Take the brave flight. Take action now. Quetzalcoatl is telling you, take action now. Okay, the time has come to act now. The time has come to act now. That's so clear. So that you can get to this point. Thank you, Spirit. And now we're going to go into future energies. Oh, wow. Holy crap. There's two lions and two females in both Renaissance here. Okay. What I'm getting for the future in for the future. Take action now. Get that fresh, clean energy for these flowers to bloom, for this fluid, magical, innocent creativity to bloom. And it'll build strength. It will build strength. And the two will become one with the eight and the infinity. It is time to become a great leader. It is time to become a great leader. The keeper of the light. You're the keeper of the light. It is time to show strength. I lost it. There it is. It is time to show strength. and be a great leader. Two become one, then there's the number two. I keep hearing two become one. Two become one. And look how strong, because of you, at the mercy you show, at the divine energy that you show, your best self, your best energy, your best life, makes this divine counterpart strong gain strength, spirit, just shining all of it on you, bearing fruit. This relationship is going to bear fruit. I see in the spiritual realm as well as the physical realm. But you have to become a great leader, the keeper of that light, acting now. Keeping that motto in your head, leveling that shared energy, you have to take that great flight so this beautiful energy can come through. And I want you to see how strong that divine partner has become. And you are ethereal. You are divine feminine. And I also want you to see this. When you, as a twin, come into union, in the physical, in the physical, it's chill. See how chill she is? They're just chill. He's chill. She's chill. And they're content and happy. They are to become one. But she is the leader, and you always have to be the leader. And this masculine, this divine masculine, will be there every step of the way. But you have to become that great leader, keeper of the light, leveling that shared energy uh, and staying on your spirit spiritual journey and keeping it innocent creative playful and taking flight and living your best life thank you spirit Woo! <laughs> I feel like Ric Flair okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get elaborate a little bit. Let's go. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to go with it. 
past, present, future. Holy moly, this goes hand in hand with what we were talking about. Uh, let's get this card right here. Look at that, eight and eight, and it's both past energy. I mean, a uh, future energy. Present, I'm sorry, past, present, future. Both presents, eight. Okay, so with these cards, positive movement forward. Because you showed strength. Because you showed strength, there's pot in the future. You're both going to the, toward the light. Positive movement forward. Setting sail on a new adventure. Setting sail toward the light. Living in the light. Both of you moving forward. Positive movement forward because you showed strength. The fulfillment of wishes in the present moment. You're fulfilling your wishes in the present moment. I'm going to go here first, the present. Not, I'm sorry, the past. There's a lot of illumination in this twin flame journey right now. Whoever is in this collective, there's a lot of illumination. There's a lot of it. A lot of illumination going on. In the present, in the past, you're the keeper of the light. You have to be the one to lead the way with, with your wisdom. You have to go on, on your adventure. You have to leave this person behind and leave behind situations and things that are not for your highest good and make the change. Make the change and go on that brave flight, collecting and knowing, finding your inner wisdom, learning about yourself, learning about your yourself and your soul journey, but living your best life, making your dreams come true. If you want to write a book, this might be the sign for you to get on it. I'm getting you are you are becoming illuminated. You have or you are. And you're moving forward. And you may feel like you know you're scared of losing something, leaving people behind or situations behind, your twin flame behind. But you have to let go. Take that brave flight. Take action now. Well, these are very similar colors. Take action now. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Remember your creed. Remember that motto when you have those hiccups and that those thoughts start to come in and be really tricky with you trying to get you to obsess and think about your twin and not live in the now. There's a treasure waiting for you. Just meditate, take a deep breath, be fluid. That's so funny, both, both of these. Going within, finding your inner light, doing your soul work, being present and still in this moment. If you take this action, you act now and keep that creed that if whatever line of thinking I'm doing right now is not for my highest good and choose to be present. Let go of that person. Let go of that story. Everything becomes fluid and creative and things start to bloom. Innocence comes in, creativity, a treasure is way is just revealing itself. You have that knowledge, you have that wisdom. Breathe in life, grow. And that leads to and have strength. Have the strength because.
how ethereal your energy is. You're strong. You're soothing. You're not leading the way in the physical. You're not trying to chase. You're just there side by side allowing, letting the fruit grow, being strong and giving this masculine strength to move forward. Positive movement forward. Being that great leader and you will always have, as the Divine Feminine, you will always have to be that leader, that great leader. With strength, with strength, taking action, being brave, being, being present and in the moment, soul alignment and playful, fluid, going with the flow, letting this masculine be him and letting him choose to come into your life, no expectations being chill, comfortable, to become one. Thank you, Spirit. So I think that I'm going to get into some obstacles right now for this Twin Flame connection. I feel like I need to shuffle on this deck. I already did earlier and blessed it, but I... times here. And I'm going to ask Spirit to show us the obstacles that are in the way right now in this twin flame connection or any messages. It could be obstacles, it could be advice, direction, whatever you feel, spirit, spirit guides, angels. Good likes, information, what are the obstacles, spirit? The most I'm going to get is three. What are the obstacles? How about this? What are the obstacles for past, present, and future. And once I see them, I'll be able to put them in the right order. Thank you, Spirit. Lack. Okay. already have messages for that. That is definitely in the present. Lack and doubts. Spirit, what are some of the obstacles in this relationship? This twin flame. This twin flame. Relationship and separation. What is causing the separation? Or any obstacles for this journey? Excellent. I love this so much. It's definitely what we were talking about the past, the present. Flew out. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, so much. Okay, these are the messages. Okay. They go really well with what we were talking about earlier the lack and doubts that you're having. What's keeping this, what has brought this, what's keeping or what will really hinder this soul connection, this twin flame relationship, are these things exactly? Lack, doubts.
I'm getting a lot of messages between these two. I'm just trying to put them into one. Okay. Right now you're having some lack and doubts, even in the even in the future. Actually, I'm going to change this because this is what is going. I think in the past, way past, not the recent past, but at the beginning of your story, um, maybe into a few weeks, I think your entire twin flame relationship minus the very beginning, and some of you I do feel it was early on, you've experienced rejection from this, uh, from this twin, from your divine masculine. I feel that you felt rejected, torn apart, fragmented, just torn up. And you you felt the loss when they when they ran, every time they ran. Every time they ran, you felt like this. Every time. And that hurts. That's just awful awful. I've experienced it. I'm a twin myself. I know exactly how you're feeling. It causes the dark night of the soul, but as twins, as divine feminines, we have to experience this. This is necessary for our soul growth, for our wisdom, for our, um, our journey. To help us realize we're the keeper of the light. To help us realize what this was. Do you remember when you were first a twin and you were feeling all that and you were like, what the heck is going on? Like, what is going on? Why? Why? For myself, I can cut off a relationship at the speed of light. Warp speed. Boom. Psh, over. I'm kind about it. Unless I can't be kind about it as much as possible I am but with a twin it's like you can't do it you feel like you can't it's very eight of swords energy you feel like you're stuck you feel like you are just bound to this pain and you don't understand why it's so confusing you feel torn apart you feel so rejected and so much loss in a profound way that nobody's ever had that effect on you before. Because usually you just let that person go, move along, you know, say, fuck that guy, fuck that girl, you know, fuck that person. And you move on. Or you're like, oh well, you know, it didn't work out. <laughs> Whatever. But the twin, different situation. You feel torn up, totally fragmented. You feel the worst rejection, and you feel the worst loss. So, I feel like in the present moment, you feel like You're excited about going forward, okay? You're exciting about you're excited about gaining this new wisdom, going forward, being keeper of the light. But you you still feel the absence of that person. It's always in the back of your head here. Sorry, everybody. I oh, I lost my camera uh, for a minute. It cut off. So let me adjust. Okay. So, I'm going to try to remember what I was saying. Okay. You feel that person in your mind, in the back of your mind. You feel the, the lack. You feel the loss. Sometimes, you've already taken the brave, fight, uh, the brave flight. If you haven't, this is energy. Choose. Choose that brave flight. Take action now. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Remember your motto. Remember your creed. When you're feeling that lack and doubts, act now.
tell yourself, these thoughts do not align with me, with my soul. Be in the present moment. Bring your focus to the present moment. Enjoy your life. Do things for your highest good. Go for a walk in nature. You know, get on that treadmill. Um, go in, go within spiritually. Read a book. Hang out with friends, your children. Go play with your children if you have any. Um, do things that make you happy in the present moment. Meditating. Being still. Talking to your plants. Cuddling with your fur babies and watching TV. Going into the mountains on a hike. Anything to connect you with spirit and your soul. Remember your creed. This line of thinking is not for my highest good. This pattern of thinking is not good for me. And then direct your attention to the now, which goes to self-care. Your energy. Take these action steps to level out your energy with your flame, with your person. That shared energy is the absolute only thing that's keeping you apart. It is not uh, what happened to them in their past, what happened to them in their future. Does it affect what's going on now? Yes, but only because of your shared energy, your beliefs about yourself, your decisions in your life. You have to remember your twin and you have this energy that's so amazing, not like any other. But with this shared energy, they are addicted to everyone and everything except you. As hard as that, it, and that, that answers a lot of that question that that rejection and loss and fragmented, you're torn apart. Say they decided to go in other relationships or whatever your situation is. You're in separation right now physically. You feel rejected. And, and that goes to that shared energy. When you're obsessing about them, when you're pining over them, when you're scared of taking flight, leading the way and gaining wisdom. This person feels it. They don't feel it in a good way. They may love you, and they do. They are connected to you. They know it, and it drives them crazy. But it repels them like... It repels them so bad that... They're addicted to everyone and everything but you. And until you take that chance, act now. Stopping these thoughts of rejection, loss, lack, and doubting. Take action now with self-care, illumination, living your best life, being that light, going within, being in the present moment. I recommend reading The Power of Now, and that will help on your soul journey. I promise you. Be the light. Gain wisdom. Be brave. And act now. And constantly remind yourself and eventually it'll become a pattern. Let go of that person. Let go of that person. Don't fear that they're not going to come back. Don't fear what you're going to lose or what you've lost. Don't. That person cannot be the center of your thoughts. You know what can. You know what should be. To get to this. To get to this.
is this? Self-care. Your soul journey. Living in the now. Letting that person go. New energy. Letting things bloom. Letting things happen naturally. Living your best life. And it starts with this. This and being present. It starts with this. Being still, centered. Having that knowing. Smelling. Letting everything growing. Letting everything be fluid and light. Gentleness. And that helps things grow. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a few messages from their higher self. I'm going to get uh, from a couple of decks here messages from their higher self to you and then we'll end it with uh, some messages from spirit and advice from spirit spirit i ask that you please give me messages from the divine feminine's counterpart the divine masculine his higher self everybody I don't I think my video is going pretty long today so this is a lot a little bit longer reading <laughs> that I had to move my space over a little bit so let me shuffle and get messages spirit please from the watchers divine counterpart the divine masculine what they would like to say what they were thinking in the past, uh, what they're thinking now, or what they will think in the future, possibly. All possible energies, what they're thinking now, what they said or thought then, and possible future messages spirit usually don't shuffle that long but I just felt like it I'd like to get three card spirit I'm gonna get Please don't get triggered because I'm getting messages about this. That's not a great message. <laughs> but I have a message that goes with this, okay? So don't turn off the reading and don't get upset because I'm getting two strong messages from that, okay? Spirit, please. One more spirit. What would the oops watcher's highest self like to say? To the watcher. artwork so I close my eyes to do this. Spirit please give me a message that the watcher's higher self would like 
Let me feel the message. Let it tug at my finger. vision in my head, so I'm going to try one more. Close my eyes. <laughs> but they're so pretty. Okay. This is what I'm getting, okay? Okay. I'm not coming back. We're going to start with that one first, okay? Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to read these two first. Be aware of what you're projecting. For the qualities you admire in another person are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. You know that's for us twins. Trust. The transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. That's exactly what the messages that have come through are saying. Where did I put my cards at? lost my mind here. Hang on just a moment. I'm going to find the cards that I've already drawn today. Hang on just a moment. Okay, sorry. I had put them in one of the boxes. Okay. Trust. The transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Okay. Trust. That brave flight. You will not let fear stop you this time. Trust so the situation can transform. Accept it. Live in the now, in the present moment. Let go of this person. Let go of this person and move forward move forward. The keeper of the light. Trust and take action now. With self-care, your soul journey, going within, causing growth, this treasure opening, the wisdom within, seek the wisdom within so that every, everything can transform and become fluid and grow and be playful and innocent again and that these flowers, these two flowers can bloom. Okay? And going to this, be aware of what you're projecting. What are you projecting? Are you projecting rejection, loss, and that you're torn apart? Are you projecting lack and doubts? Or are you projecting strength and I'll find it self-care. 
Like when this person looks at you and feels your energy, are they seeing that you're taking care of yourself and living your best life? In this beautiful, playful, creative, fluid, new energy. Like this magical metamorphosis has happened. Are they seeing this? And that you're taking action? And that you are the keeper of your own light? And that you are a great leader? Or are you projecting this? Go on that great flight. Be brave. That's what their higher self is telling you. They want to come to you. That soul wants to be together. Guys, that soul wants to be together. So trust. Trust. Be aware of what you're projecting. That shared energy is the only thing that's keeping you apart. They feel it. They feel this connection. They don't know how to let you go. And it pisses them off. When you're, they're in separation from you, they're repelled by you because of your shared energy. Because of this, this stuff right here. Any anger. And anger and fear. And all of this energy. Neediness causes... The, all of these emotions cause fear. Panic, anger, reject, um, fear, pain, anger, and, and uh, neediness. You know, you're just chasing and clawing and accepting crumbs and not believing in yourself or them. Or you just have this really negative lack mentality. They feel the neediness when you're feeling that. They don't know how to let you go. They feel that connection. They feel it. And it pisses them off. Sorry. Technical difficulties today. Okay. Yeah, it's pissing them off that they don't know how to let you go. Because of their, they're repelled by your shared energy. And the I'm not coming back message. I'm getting that they said this to you. For some of you, they said they they're they're out. They're not coming back. But we know that people say things, and you know that they are a twin. And I'm telling you that if you level your energy, your shared energy, and you get on that spiritual journey. Read the power of now, practice the power of now, and meditation. This is phantom. This is... It's phantom. I'm also getting that if you choose to just go through life in the 3D, and that you keep suffering this, and not taking that brave flight and not practicing um, self-care and having strength and acting now and being that light not practicing self-care not going within they aren't coming back there will be no positive movement forward the messages are very clear. The steps that need to be taken. I'm also getting that until you're in this energy because of going within 
They're not coming back. This future energy it can't they won't come back unless they feel this and see this you're a great leader you're moving forward positively I'm seeing this book honestly as reading the power of now going within going within teachings that guide your inner light that cause the change within you the wisdom the power of now is going to help you in your twin flame journey I promise you as long as you practice it you have to go within to your soul and let that physical person go that physical person and your addiction to that physical person that causes this is what's keeping you apart. Okay? And they won't come back without you taking action and saying that mantra to yourself. Changing your thought patterns. Taking that brave first step. And if you've already taken this brave first step, you're already doing the power of now and self-care and living your best life, reaching your goals, taking action now, cutting out those patterns, and guess what? Your body language says so much. You will exude strength. You will exude confidence. You will exude bravery. You will exude this beautiful, ethereal, sexy, amazing strength that calms and gives this mask, divine masculine strength and room to grow and illuminate. And he will feel so chill. Look, look at that. Your body language says so much. Does it say, does your body language say this? this. It's your choice. Spirit says it's your choice. Your body language says so much. Look at her. So now I'm going to get some whispers of love messages. I'm just going to take one and then I'm going to grab I'm going to grab let's put this right here. I'm going to go to Romance Angels right now. I have some new decks coming so I'm really excited about them. So please check back. I'll be doing about two to three soul connections and twin flame readings a week and then I do daily card pulls as well if you would like personal reading please feel free to reach out to me I'm going to have a Etsy shop soon to where you can go to that to get a reading from me about your situation or you can email me with my information below or contact me on Instagram, okay? I would love to channel your twin flame energy and help you on your journey. Spirit, please, I would like to have a message, just one, in this deck for the Watcher regarding any advice. We're going to close this up, messages from Spirit about this twin flame connection or their spiritual journey spirit please let me feel it
already getting messages about this. I haven't read this one yet. Okay, Spirit, please give me one message. What you would like the Watcher to know, this Divine Feminine. This amazing, beautiful Divine Feminine would really like some advice on their spiritual journey or regarding their twin flame. Thank you, Spirit. You are amazing, Spirit. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. So what I'm getting now is codependency for the first one. Wow, I love the way this just plays out. Because I can I saw the title. Okay. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Exactly. I said that earlier about addictions. The twin flame addiction is painful. You're thinking about them nonstop a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, and some of you almost non-stop. So, that's codependency. And that is why your body language says so much to them. And that is why this came out. They're not coming back. That codependent energy that you're exuding, that you're exuding, that energy, it's completely affecting this. I, what I'm getting from this image, stop thinking about this, this person. And what I'm seeing right here, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible, okay? What I'm getting is, stop obsessively being addicted to this person, feeling this rejection, loss, and torture, lack and doubts. Stop living in that. Because if you, if you, if you do, if you just sit there and ruminate in it and think about it, they're not coming back, okay? But, if you sit there, if you're gonna sit there and think, take action. Remember your mantra. When, you, when those codependent thoughts come in, when those, when those codependent thoughts come in, remember your mantra. These thoughts are not for my highest good. And then, go into the present moment. Start. Appreciating the beauty around you. The, the, the beauty within, your, within yourself. The feel of this fabric, the feel of the flowers, the scent of the flowers, the air, the sun, the trees, step out into nature, whatever, create art, whatever helps you to be in the present moment, play with your kids, be present in everything, go climb mountains, travel, study, explore. And what I'm also getting really strong, communicate to the universe clearly your intentions. You have the power to manifest within. Everything is within you. You can manifest the physical person. You can't manifest them like with the law of attraction. The only way to get this physical person back is to take action, be in the present moment, And let them go and stop the addictive, obsessive 
thinking and energy and chasing. Communicate with spirit what you would like for your best life to be. How you can how you can be the leader. How you can self-care. How you can be brave to take that flight and let that person go. Communicate clearly. Map out the future. Map out the future for your growth so these treasures can be revealed to you. Explore your soul. Explore your world. Explore things that maybe you have never done before. Um, things you've wanted to do. I've been recently thinking about getting into fly fishing. And I really would love to do that. So I've been studying up on it. And it's something I would really love to do. Ever since I was a teenager, I wanted to do it. And I just haven't. I used, to I used to fish with my dad, but we never fly fished, and I would really love to get into that. Get into something that you would like that would bring you peace. Things that would give you self-care. Take those action steps. Take those action steps. Communicate with spirit so that you can get into this energy and things can bloom grow and be fluid and fresh. Keep doing that mantra so that you can be the keeper of the light and be this goddess, the leader, so you can have pos positive movement forward. Thank you, Spirit. Communicate clearly with Spirit. Okay, and you can think about your future and with law of attraction for things that are not your twin flame. Dream of your future. Communicate communicate clearly what you would like your future to be with spirit. Do a vision board. Just make sure you do not include your twin flame because that is codependency and that's addictive behavior. And you're showing spirit at that point when you do that, when you're road mapping and mapping out your future with your person, you're communicating these to spirit. You're communicating these to your divine masculine. And that is where they're not coming back. The law of attraction works differently with a twin flame than it does anybody else or anything else. So stay out of that codependent energy. Communicate with spirit what you want your life to be like without this person. What do you want for yourself? What do you see for yourself? Develop that world. Develop that world dream about that world, explore that world, be in the present and explore and learn, learn, experience. And if you experience, guess what? Your body language says so much. You become this. You become this. And they don't know how to let go. And they won't see it as a bad thing. They will see it as everything that they want. But you cannot be this and exuding this. So, take action now. Be brave. Self care. Be that light. Be in the present and dream of the future. Make your future and communicate clearly without this divine masculine. Okay? It cannot include him when you're communicating with spirit. If you start to think those, if you start to think those thoughts of planning your future with spirit, what are you going to do? What are we going to do? 
This pattern of thinking does not serve my highest good. This is not healthy for me. And then let it go. Remember to be gentle with yourself. Don't be hard. This journey, when I first started my journey, I would be hard on myself when I had those thoughts. And that's the worst thing you can do. You have to be gentle. Let it go like a person just passing on the street. That, that thought came in, just let it walk by with no judgment. Don't give it any, any energy, okay? Be gentle. Be delicate and kind and fluid. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope this helped in some way, and I will see you again tomorrow with a card pull. Namaste.